Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Quest Map Pro system. So I got this yesterday and to be straight up, the creator gave me this to test out, see what I thought of it and kind of give some feedback, what I thought, I guess how it performs, do a little review on it. So let's get that out of the way and we'll get started and we'll get right into it. So the first thing you do when you get this kit is I'm going to open the demo project and I'll play it for you for a quick second here so you get an idea. Uh, so we're welcome to the demo and we have a quest so we got to locate the berry farm and it also has this nice little animated trail that takes you to where the quest is if you have that turned on we have a pretty awesome little mini map system down in the right hand corner we got a compass up there that oh wow I didn't notice that before the compass actually shows the quest up there as well so you can follow the compass if I push M you can see we have a main map, which we also have markers on there, which is cool. And we can also add our own markers. If I hold shift and click, and I can give it a name, uh, test. Test marker, I can give it an icon in blue and add it in. I put it right here. So you can make markers on your map, which is really nice. Kind of reminds me of, like The Witcher or something. So yeah. We can follow our quest. So down here, which is really cool. We gotta harvest the berries, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So already I'm seeing a million uses for this. Already harvest them. Put them on the pallet. Nice. So across the bridge, so look on the map and it's right here and I can select it. And it also marks it on my compass and also on the screen, which is really cool. So follow that. So there's all kinds of different quests that are in this and the author says that the quest system, you can plug this into any quest system you want to use. This is kind of a hard coded one, but I see lots of uses even with this hard-coded one. You could make this your own if you reverse engineer the code and you can make something really cool with this right out of the box. So I'm going to head to the forest and find the crate. This is really, really cool. So we'll head to the forest somewhere. Oh, there's a crate. So we grab the crate and now Time to travel to the beach. So it says I can use fast travel, which is kind of cool. Oh wow, this has a built-in fast travel system, which is really cool as well. And that's the end of the demo. So I'm going to rate this today on the features, the performance, the support, and the value, of course. So what I'm going to do is same as we always do, I'm going to try to import this into my own project and we'll see how it fares up. I'm more concerned about the performance of this than anything because I have spent a ton of money on map systems, quest systems, and every time I put a mini map on or a map system, my FPS drops by 20%. So let's see how this one fares up. So I made a blank project in the, I always use this for my control project is zombie survival. This is the second time I'm really using Unreal 5 here. So my FPS are, I can't even gauge it because I'm recording. So I'm going to set it at, it's dipping to 70. So I'm going to go T max FPS 70. And hopefully that holds pretty steady when I play. So yeah, I think 70 is a good control for my laptop right now, recording and stuff. So this is without anything inside of it. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to start the process of importing this into the project. So the first thing I do is open my Quest Map Pro. So I like to go to Show and Folder. And then I have a blank zombie project. I'm going to do the same thing. And all you zombie project users out there are going to love this little pack I have done. Same as all the other stuff I do. I have a pretty neat way of importing this in. 
So we have our blank zombies project and our quest map pro. So we're going to grab our quest map from our content here. And we're going to put it here. So we bring that in. And then I actually made this little package. And this will be available on the developers discord as well. So all you have to do is use this package. Grab these two folders. Hold on to content. I don't have to unzip them. So grab these two folders and paste them into your project and replace them. Assuming you're into a blank project. And then I'm going to open up my blank zombies project. And we're going to wait for that to load. Should just take a second. So I gave this probably, I'm going to say a good six to eight hours I've played with this system. Made a little integration package for the zombie survival template. And I gotta say, overall, I'm really impressed with some of the stuff this can do out of the box. There's just a ton of features, a lot that I, I probably missed or I haven't touched on even in this small little uh, demo of the project. So right away, I'm gonna open up the Arena 1 map. This is the standard map for the zombie survival template. And I'm also gonna go to my third person character just going to show you guys how easy this is to import into this project. So what I do is I add, this is component based which is really nice. So I add these bottom three, the pro manager. I add in the component for the map and I add in the component for the compass. Then I click compile and save. And I've also done up a little package for you guys that use this template. And I'm probably going to do a bunch of the other templates as well. Where you go into your project settings. And then you go to your input. And then you import. And then that folder that I made here, you can import the backup here. And that's going to give you all the, the functions for the map. So we'll close that out. And we'll save this. I'm just going to see if this works. Alright, so right away I have my map. Everything works. So I'm just going to close this for a second and I'm going to check my frames per second. And I'm going to set it at 70, I think was what I had it on before. T dot max FPS. I'll try going with 90 just to see. I don't think it'll handle it, but. Oh no, I'm getting 90. That's pretty good. That's with the map on as well. Nice. So this also tracks the enemies I have it set up for to dynamically track the enemies. So I'm gonna put that back to 70 to make sure I'm giving this the right amount of uh, right amount of care. So steady on the 70. No issue with frame drops at all. I have the mystery box tracked here. You can also make quest system with this where you can track the power button and then you can go from there. So I have a ton of dynamic stuff going on. Every zombie is tracking me right now and I'm not losing any FPS which is insane. Like it's live tracking these guys. I might be losing like one FPS. That's insane. So you can set up a ton of stuff in here too. You can set up points of interest. You can set up I have the mystery box location. There's just a ton of stuff you can do with this. And I also thought you could ping on the map, the location. I thought you could ping the map. One second here. Uh, game, it's not working for me, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna find my controller, cause that's where this is based out of. So my player controller class, I'm going to open that up. And then here's where all the, uh, the key binds are set up for the map system. So I'm just going to refresh all nodes. That'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to grab the manager down here. And I'm going to type input mouse middle button. And I think it's ping. Player ping, that's what it is. So if you're in a multiplayer game and you have Jerry in there and he, you're trying to tell him where the power is, 
or where the door is or zombies, you can just say, hey Jerry, it's that, that door, and he'll say, where? And then you can just ping it, and it'll be on his map as well. So I can ping anything in the map, I can ping over there, I can ping there, and that shows on the map the ping, and it also shows on the compass. So that's really, really cool. So the ping is there. You can ping a bunch of different things. You can add markers with names on your map. I don't think it'd be, I don't think you want that in your zombie template, but this is super handy. If you drop a weapon on the ground, maybe, and you want to ping it for your partners, just super. And you can remove them by right clicking them. There's just so many features. So, so getting right down to it. For the performance on this, I'm giving this a solid 5 out of 5. I haven't seen a map system that handles things in dynamically without dropping. And, and I'm on a mid-grade laptop. This isn't the best computer, and I'm getting 70 FPS. Anything over 60 to me is usually good. And I'm on, like I said, a mid-grade computer. The support for this is fantastic. Highly suggest you guys check out the, the Discord and the YouTube channel. Um... The YouTube channel covers everything. I found I ran into a few little issues when I was trying to merge it. Nothing crazy, and it was it was already on there. I didn't even have to ask for help. So supports a five out of five. Uh, the easy use it depends on your level of skill. This took me like twelve minutes to implement. So and I and I completely failed with other map systems. I tried to to Frankenstein things together. Tried to make. Uh, merge things from ESRPG, tried to merge all kinds of packs. Nothing ever worked with this, but this just worked right out of the box pretty much. So the value for your money on this, if you're gonna make a game and you want a mini map in it and you're going to have a release, this is the one to have. It just has everything in it. Everything else I've used has given me console errors, has given me frame drops. I didn't have a whole lot of uh, hope going into this. I didn't think it would perform as well as it does, but am I wrong? This is crazy. Like, 5 out of 5, 100% sure. The only thing I will say about this, I have to take some points away from it, is you guys probably already know what I'm going to say. If you look at my projects, and I know there's a lot of developers out there that are still stuck on this 4.27 and back to 4.26, and we have been avoiding 5 for as long as we can. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm completely hooked on 5 yet. But this doesn't come with uh, 4.27 right out of the box. So I'm going to try and reverse this down to 4.27. And I'm definitely going to going to release whatever I can on, on their Discord en Discord end of it to get it there, but I have to take a point one away from the from the review because I think that if this had 4.272 or 4.2, well, not so much 2.6, but if this had backwards support for 4.27, this would just do crazy because I think a lot of our, a lot of our developers are stuck on 4.27. Maybe I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but... But I think that uh, 4.27 would send this over the top. Like everybody would want this. I think they're gonna they're gonna want this anyway. This is the best map system. So I'm gonna give this a 4.9 out of five stars because this is probably the best map system I've ever worked with and probably ever will. It just works. It's fantastic. The support is there. I really highly suggest you guys check this out. Uh, I see replacing this system with the one that comes with Easy RPG because of the frames. I'm all about frames and performance, and you're just going to get it with this. You're going to get that extra boost in frames. I think in modern RPG, that's another thing that's killing the frames and performance is the minimap. I could be wrong, but I know it has a, a detrimental effect on my computer. So I look forward to trying this with all the different templates and seeing how many FPS I can gain. I did not think this was going to perform as well as it did, but I don't think I had any FPS drops, and it's tracking the zombies track and pinging everything just works the way it should so i think you guys are going to be more than happy with it if you guys check this out so i highly recommend it and i'm going to support this for as long as i can and looking really forward to see what this rolls out with next for features have a great one i'm glad you guys checked this out hope it helped you and hopefully some of you guys check this out